What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel online at www.whatsupinthesky.com and welcome back with another edition of Space News. It's been a little while. Um, I have a trip coming up to Denver so once again I just got back from Georgia. I haven't made many videos. Um, this week I'm going to try and make some videos. I might not be able to do the uh, talking videos but I haven't done any of those little uh, trailers for a while like the movie trailers. I like doing them every once in a while on the iPhone. So let's get right on into it because there's been a couple uh, stories that I've missed over the last couple weeks I've been gone and uh, some we need to talk about because this is falling right in line with what I was talking about. Um, what's most likely going to happen when we got to the bottom of the mountain. This is going to continue to happen most likely. And the rover is going to end up uh, short now. But here we go. NASA's Curiosity rover on Mars sideline by short circuit glitch. This is space.com. Um, NASA's Mars rover Curiosity experienced an electrical problem last week, and the robot will stay put for a few days while mission engineers try to figure out exactly what happened. The car-sized Curiosity rover suffered a transient cool short circuit, or transient short circuit, on February 27th while it was transforming a sample powder from its robotic arm to instruments on its body. NASA officials said, Curiosity halted to the activity and response, and it was programmed to do in such situations. We are running tests on the vehicle in its present configuration before we move the arm or drive. Um, so basically, this gives us the best opportunity to determine where the short is. These tests should take several days, after which consequences of the short circuit will become clearer. A transient short in some systems on the rover would have little effect on rover operations. In others, it could prompt the rover team to restrict use of a mechanism. Um, so it looks like they're going to have to figure out what exactly it is, isolate it, and then see if they can keep moving on. If they lose the rover arm, that's going to be a, uh, for, you know, it's going to be a pain in the butt, um, especially for science, what they wanted to get done some more science. It's interesting this picture they actually have of it. Look at these, uh, look at this rock formations up at the top here, right on the right on the front page of space.com. Um, there's like spears, there's a circle. And look, we can have a little bit of anomaly video right off the front page. And look at these, every just kind of interesting over here as well. Looks like a little cross, but I see what I see, you see what you see, it moving right along. So we're going to be watching that. Um, this might end up here in the next couple of months, might be the end of uh, Curiosity Rover. Well, here we go. India rocks. They actually did it. They showed they showed us what Mars really looks like from orbit. And here's Phobos. This is from the ISRO. And once again, the Indians rock when it comes to their space program. I'm very excited to have them as a new player in the game. Looks, I'm from America, and to see some, to see such a. Uh, innovation and, and just to be able with a little bit of money that they do to, to launch satellites to launch things they, they got their first to make it to mars on their first shot is pretty that's like hitting a home run especially getting into orbit like we did here like they did here um, but here's phobos silhouetted in it but now let's take a look at this here's here's how it came out when they first showed mars now let me, uh, this should be, this next picture should be it. Hopefully the internet is running fast from here to India to pull this up. Come on. The first, there it is. So this is what, when they got there, they put out. And a lot of people had issues with this and sent me this. And all they did was change the colors to how they wanted. And what they changed the colors to look exactly like that. So how about Mars now? What do you guys think Mars? Think it looks more like a living planet to you? Maybe something, a little, the atmosphere just a little bit more, uh, um, I mean, it looks like some of the pictures from the, uh, from the space station here. Pretty amazing. So a lot, lot more stuff coming in. Here's the, uh, there's a couple more pictures that came in. Um, here was one that when they first got there, like I said, there was this one right here. Here's the Phobos one. Now this is from the uh, Marineris Trench, I believe. Uh, that whole valley system, beautiful. Uh, looks like they caught some interesting, but I think either Brian Hopkins had a neat video about maybe them catching a plume of smoke in one of these, but this is pretty high up. Um, so we're not really that you know, getting here. Might have been from this one right here, but pretty neat. Check that out. Beautiful color. Look at the look at the blues um, and the whites and the and the red looks nothing like the the this color here looks nothing like the what we're seeing in the other pictures. Um, here was a 3D picture they stuck out, 
And this is of uh, Arcea Mons. This is a huge volcano, and it was done in 3D. That's why you get a lot of these uh, effects. I'm not sure how the actual um, imaging works. I haven't seen the schematics on this like I like they have shown for some of the other ones, but um, like I know NASA puts out all the schematics. They put everything out. It's been hard to find information about the uh, the actual orbiter here. But what was really interesting to me, and once this next one comes up here, sorry guys, I should have these all loaded up ahead of time. Um, there we are. This was when it was leaving Earth, so sorry about that. All right, here we go. Keep on moving forward. Beautiful, beautiful. But there it is. That's 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 Mars, and that looks a lot more like Earth. I'm telling you. They're moving. They're moving towards what we've been saying here, what a lot of us have been saying. So we'll just keep our uh, keep keep pushing with our videos and keep showing what we show. And I'm very excited to see that and what people have turned this into. Looked that looked exactly like that. They were dead on. Now this is for them Indy, to put this out. That's a pretty bold move to come from that to that. Um, that's a bold move, especially when uh, you know. You know, NASA, the ESA, and everybody else is showing this nasty red color here. Um, to go ahead and put that out like that was beautiful. Kudos to India as we move right on. Black hole breaks records, swallows up scientific theory. Every single day, it's more and more we find out we don't know anything, <laughs> you know, about space, um, uh, about how it works. And uh, here's just a little bit I'll read you. Not too much about this. I'm not going to read you. I, as always, I link all these below for the you know for space news. I always leave links in all my videos. But scientists say that they have discovered a black hole so big that it challenges the theory about how they grow. Scientists say that this black hole was formed about 90 million years after the Big Bang. But with its measurements indicating that it has 12 billion times the mass of the sun, the black hole challenges a widely accepted hypothesis of growing rates. Based on previous research, this is the largest black hole found for a period of time. Um, this is a, the current theory is now limited to how fast a black hole can grow, but this black hole is too large for that theory. So I'm going to leave it with that. Basically, we're learning more and more. Who knows what's there? Um, our minds, I don't think, can even can even begin to imagine what we actually have. Uh, what, how this universe works, more or less how our own work, you know, how our own world works here on Earth. Uh, we're just learning the basics of it, you know. So let's keep on moving. Very exciting mission coming on. Uh, Dawn's the uh, spacecraft has slipped into orbit. It looks like it made it there, and we are waiting for pictures to come back. So I can't wait till we see the Cirrus. Um, here was one of the latest pictures I think that they had shown up close from it. We're looking really interested in the two objects that were seen on it, the bright lights, to see what they were, if they were reflections. And I'm not sure how how actually uh, how far you know how close we're going to get images, you know how in detail images we're going to get of this. Um, I guess it all depends what they find with what their hardware is. But it's another one we're watching. Um, Congratulations. This is epic. I mean, this thing had some issues when it was going through Vesta. Um, the, somehow the engineers were able to keep it going on track and it made it to, to Cirrus. So good good job over there. And this was pretty cool. NASA releases suggest Mars once had more water than Earth's Arctic Ocean. More and more, more water, more water. They keep telling us more and more water. Now, I'm not going to read this whole thing because it, it goes into some theories about maybe what happened to it and stuff, but a primitive ocean on Mars held more water than Earth's Arctic Ocean. According to NASA scientists, who used ground-based observatories measured water signatures in the red planet's atmosphere. Scientists have been searching for answers to why this vast water supply left the surface. Details of the observations and computations appear in Thursday's edition of Science Magazine. Our study provides a solid estimate of how much water Mars once had by determining how much water was lost to space. Um, here we go. Let's see. But with this work, we can best understand the history of the water on Mars. Perhaps about 4.5 billion years ago, Mars would have enough water to cover its entire surface in a liquid layer about 450 feet deep. More likely, the water would have formed an ocean occupying almost half of Mars' northern hemisphere, in some regions reaching to depths greater than a mile. The new estimate is based on detailed observations made by the European Southern Observatory, very large telescope in Chile. Um, so once again, I'm sure these are uh, 
more speculations. You know, we're not 100% sure on on this. They're you know, they're doing this with a telescope, but the the theory is here more and more water that's what we keep hearing water 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 well i've got videos where they just drove past what looks like running water with the rover so they already know water is there they don't care that's not what they're looking for um, here we are once again just talking a little bit about um, cirrus the dwarf planet um, it's seen from dawn spacecraft on march 1st just a few days before the mission achieved orbit and previously unexplored dwarf planet this was taken about 30,000 miles away. So now, now apparently this thing could fit in about I think a third or a third or 38 percent of the uh, of the United States or something like that. I was reading uh, one of the news stations had it on. I was out there watching it earlier, but we'll be watching this dawn stuff, see what's going on. Uh, once again, really watching this whole you know. What's going on with the rover? We've got opportunity having to get rebooted. We've got this having issues. Are we about to we'll say, and Maven just made it there. So now we've got, now that we have more download capability because the Maven spacecraft relays information back a lot. So we have more, more capabilities where, uh, you know, our rover is going to start dying on us. But kudos to India once again. Much love to you guys. Phobos, to get this picture right here and to actually show the color, I mean, I'm just stoked. So, much love to you guys. Hope you have a good one. I'm going to be heading out to Denver, Colorado for a week. Like I said, I'm going out there for work, so I got a conference. At night, I'm going to have a little bit of free time. Once again, keep sending me your pictures, the will at willforrar.net. Um, I have so many to get to, guys. As like I said, I've been trying to pick the best of the best out for you. So when I do get a chance to do a video, it's a good one. Check out my last video. Uh, that one, to me, just blew my mind. Like I said, another what just looks like ornate helmet pieces stuff there. You know, too much to do. Too much to say. Too much out there. So all, as always, what's up in the sky.com. Lots of good researchers post their stuff there. The forums are really starting to blow up. Go ahead and sign up for it. If you haven't signed up for it, and if you if you comment on my videos and you haven't signed up for the website yet, shame on you. Come on over and comment. Talk to us over there. We've got about five to ten people who really offer some, some good information. I've, I've learned, like a lot of my stories come from there, you know. So, all right, guys. Much love to you. Hope you're having a good one. Peace. Let's see. And here how we do it. We got to get to our uh, now. Here's how it goes. Peace.